With so many islands making up the entire city of New York, does it come as a surprise to you that today we would have an endless supply of bridges throughout the city? It's kind of hard to believe there was a time when New Yorkers struggled to get from island to island when the only option for getting around was by boat. My, how times have changed! And hats off to the engineers, city planners, and laborers who dedicate themselves to making life easier for us every day. We have so much to be grateful for. Now with over 65 unique bridges throughout the city, it's never an easy task narrowing them down to just a select few. But that's exactly what I did, and those that made the cut were chosen for their history, their popularity, as well as their beauty. Prepare to marvel at some awesome feats of engineering today, because I'm taking you on a tour of New York's most famous bridges where we'll get to learn a little bit about each bridge and see just what it is that makes them so special. So without further delay, here are the 13 most amazing bridges in New York City. Number 1. The Brooklyn Bridge I know what you're thinking. The Brooklyn Bridge. Well, since it happens to be the most famous out of the entire New York Bridge lineup, we might as well just get it out of the way. Okay, so we all know that the New York City skyline is just incomplete without this iconic suspension bridge. However, did you know that the Brooklyn Bridge is also the world's first suspension bridge to use stone towers together with steel crisscrossing cables? Prior to that, suspension bridges were always falling apart due to the common use of hemp or iron rope. Opened in 1883, this southernmost bridge spanning across the East River connects Dumbo and downtown Brooklyn with Lower Manhattan. You can pass this two-level bridge by foot, car, and bicycle at no cost. What's cool is that cyclists and pedestrians are privileged to the entire top level. For those visiting New York City, walking the Brooklyn Bridge is one of those experiences of a lifetime that you must definitely add to your bucket list. Now for those living in New York, if you haven't walked this bridge yet, I'm really not sure what you're waiting for. Some of the best views of the bridge with the Manhattan skyline are from the Brooklyn Heights Promenade as well as Brooklyn Bridge Park. On the Manhattan side, you can snap your pictures as a passenger on the FDR or from the piers at South Street Seaport. There's so much more I can say about this historic landmark. But to preserve your time, as well as mine, I think I'll leave the rest for a separate video. Number 2. The Verrazano Bridge Besides the ferry, this is the only other route New Yorkers have into Staten Island. Also known as the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, or just the Verrazano, it spans across the narrowest parts of New York Harbor from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn to Staten Island. I'm not from Brooklyn, so you can imagine my reaction after seeing this monumental green-gray bridge for the first time while riding down Shore Road with a friend. It's pretty much New York's equivalent to the Golden Gate. But of course, you didn't hear that from me. Opened in 1964, the Verrazano is an all-steel suspension toll bridge accommodating cars, buses, and trucks on two levels. No bikers or pedestrians are allowed on this busy thoroughfare. So if you want to cross it by foot, be prepared to run because the only time pedestrians are allowed on this bridge is during the New York City Marathon and the Five Borough Bike Tour. Some of the most panoramic views of the Verrazano Bridge can be seen from Shore Road, Shore Park, or the Bell Parkway in Brooklyn, and Fort Wadsworth in South Beach on the Staten Island side. Number 3. The Hell Gate Bridge This is the notable steel arch bridge with the bad paint job. It's also the same bridge that the Amtrak travels across when headed to Boston. Completed in 1917, the Hell Gate Bridge is a train-only bridge with two tracks currently being used by Amtrak and one track for freight. This faded red and somewhat pink and brown bridge can be found stretching itself across the top portion of the East River. The entire bridge complex consists of three individual bridges that take trains from Astoria, Queens to Randall's Island and into the South Bronx. However, most New Yorkers will consider the Hellgate Bridge only as this one, the one spanning across the East River. The name might sound a bit grim, but don't worry, you won't be going through the gates of hell when you go across. It got its name due to its location above the Hellgate Channel, a part of the East River that was known to have deadly currents in the past. It may seem like a very unassuming bridge, but some very famous bridges were copied after the Hellgate Bridge. They include the Tyne Bridge in England, as well as the Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia. If you want to get an up-close and scenic view of this classic bridge, you can visit Astoria Park or Randall's Island, where you get to walk right under it. 
Number 4. The RFK Bridge The official name now is the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge, but I know there's plenty of you old-time New Yorkers that still call it the Tribar Bridge. This all-steel bridge is actually just steps away from the Hellgate Bridge and you can walk from one to the other in less than five minutes. It's called the Tribar Bridge because it links the boroughs of Manhattan, Queens, and Bronx via a complex of bridges, viaducts, and elevated expressways along the same lines as the Hellgate Bridge. But quite simply, everyone just recognizes the Tribar Bridge as the Grey Green Suspension Bridge spanning across the East River between Astoria and Randall's Island. Completed in 1937, the complex accommodates cars, buses, and trucks for a nice sum, as well as bikes and pedestrians. You can catch spectacular views of the main bridge, again from Astoria Park and Randall's Island. But for a unique angle, you can also try the Astoria Boulevard subway platform. Number 5. The George Washington Bridge Okay, now let's head on over to the other side of the city where we'll find the great George Washington Bridge stretching across the Hudson to connect the Washington Heights section of Manhattan to Fort Lee, New Jersey. Also known as the GW Bridge, the G-Dub, or the GWB, this toll bridge is one of the last bridges you'll want to get stuck on. Prior to 2020, this all-steel suspension bridge was known as the world's busiest bridge, carrying over 105 million cars, buses, trucks, bikes, and pedestrians every year. The GWB is a part of the I-95, which spans the entire East Coast from Miami to New England. So you can imagine what happens when it gets backed up. Opened in 1931, the George Washington Bridge has a lower and top deck from which you can see sweeping views of Upper Manhattan, Queens, and the New Jersey Palisades. For picturesque views of this light gray engineering landmark, there's Fort Lee Park on the Jersey side, a boat cruise on the Hudson, and really any park along the river in Washington Heights. Number 6. The High Bridge This bridge spanning across the Harlem River is New York City's oldest bridge. Completed in 1848, its original design was that of an all-stone multi-arch bridge akin to that of a Roman aqueduct. Why? Because back in 1848, the Croton Aqueduct was a much-needed system which carried water from the Croton River down the Hudson Valley and into the city. The bridge was built to conceal the massive pipe of the old Croton Aqueduct as it crossed the river. A promenade was later completed at the top of the bridge, turning it somewhat into the high line of the 1800s. Five of the masonry arches that span the river were later replaced by the single steel arch that you see today after impeding boat traffic for a number of years. When use of the aqueduct to deliver water to New York had ceased, the bridge fell to neglect and vandalism and was closed by the 1960s. It didn't open back up until 2015 after a much-needed facelift. Today, the High Bridge still remains a pedestrian-only bridge where you can sit, stroll, or pedal across from Manhattan's Washington Heights to the Bronx's High Bridge neighborhood. Now, I wouldn't call it the most photogenic bridge, but if you want to catch glimpses of the entire bridge, the best places are High Bridge Park in both the Bronx and Manhattan, the Major Deegan, the Harlem River Drive, as well as the Circle Line. Number 7. The Queens Bar Bridge Alright, we're back in Queens again. This time, we're looking at the Queens Bar Bridge, also known as the 59th Street Bridge, and now they got a new one. The Ed Koch Queens Bar Bridge. Yeah, whatever. It's just the Queens Bar Bridge to most of us. Anyway, completed in 1909, this steel cantilever bridge spans across the East River between Long Island City and Queens and the Upper East Side of Manhattan. It passes over Roosevelt Island, with two of its channels actually sitting on the island. The Queens Bar Bridge is the northernmost of a set of four toll bridges crossing the East River. The Brooklyn Bridge, which I mentioned previously, is the southernmost. Don't worry, we'll get to the other two in a minute. Anyway, this two-level bridge accommodates cars, buses, trucks, bikes, and pedestrians. To get stunning views, you can go up and down Vernon Boulevard. There's also Queens Bridge Park. You can ride the Roosevelt Island Tram, or even take a trip to Roosevelt Island. You can also ride some of the East River Ferries, or visit Sutton Place Park on the Manhattan side. Number 8. The White Stone Bridge You're probably thinking, wait a minute, this looks just like the Verrazano Bridge. 
Well, that's because it was designed by the same guy. Opened in 1939, this all-steel single-story bridge is used as an expressway mainly by folks in northern Queens and the Bronx. It spans along the East River's northern shore, allowing only cars, buses, and trucks to cross from Whitestone, Queens to the Throgsneck section of the Bronx for a modest fee. Gorgeous views of the Whitestone Bridge can be seen from Francis Lewis Park in Whitestone and Ferry Point Park in the Bronx. Number 9. The Throg's Neck Bridge Speaking of the Whitestone Bridge, we can't forget the Throg's Neck Bridge, which was later completed in 1961. After all, these two steel gray suspension bridges are actually siblings. Another clean and simple design by the same engineer of multiple New York bridges, it can be found only a stone's throw away from the Whitestone Bridge in the Bay Terrace section of Queens. Not only are no pedestrians allowed on this expressway, but buses too are excluded. Similar to the Whitestone, cars and trucks can make the stretch over the East River from Bay Terrace, Queens to the Throgs Neck Peninsula in the Bronx for a modest fee. The best views of this beautiful bridge are from the SUNY Maritime Campus in the Bronx and from Little Bay Park in Queens. Number 10. The Williamsburg Bridge This all-steel suspension bridge is another one of the city's toll-free bridges that span the East River. Opened in 1903, the Williamsburg Bridge connects the Lower East Side of Manhattan to you'll never guess what part of Brooklyn. Originally built to alleviate trolley traffic on the Brooklyn Bridge, today it accommodates foot and bike traffic, vehicle traffic, and three subway lines. And just like the Brooklyn Bridge, as a pedestrian, the upper deck is all yours. The best views of the entire Williamsburg Bridge can be seen from Brooklyn's Domino Park, Manhattan's East River Promenade, or on the New York City Ferry. Number 11. The Kosciuszko Bridge there, I hope I said it correctly. Growing up, everyone always said Kosciuszko, but according to the Polish community, we were wrong all along. It's pronounced Kosciuszko, so don't get it twisted. Anyway, you know I had to include one of these super cool futuristic bridges in this lineup. I'm not an engineer, but I think it's safe to say that this impressive new style of bridge is here to stay. They seem to be cropping up everywhere. Opened in 1939, the Kosciuszko Bridge, which takes the BQE over the Newtown Creek, just got an update. Due to wear and tear, the original truss bridge connecting Maspeth, Queens to Greenpoint, Brooklyn, was recently replaced by a set of two brand new ultra-modern cable stay bridges. The new bridges come with bike paths, pedestrian walkways, and allows for all types of vehicular traffic. The area around the Kosciuszko Bridge is a bit industrial. So sorry to have to disappoint you, but most likely you won't be able to take the panoramic snapshots of this most stunning bridge without getting clutter in the background. Number 12. The Henry Hudson Bridge So I chose to include this bridge because it's in a really cool spot, plus it's got this majestic look to it as it swoops over the nearby Metro North Station. The Henry Hudson Bridge is the wide steel arch toll bridge that spans across the Spitendigle Creek as it connects the upper tip of Manhattan to the Bronx. Opened in 1936, it's known to have one of the cheapest tolls in the city and has two levels for cars, bikes, and pedestrians. The best views of this magnificent bridge can be found at Inwood Hill Park and of course the Spitendigle Metro North Station or by kayaking the creek. And last, we have number 13 the Manhattan Bridge. Only a few blocks north of the Brooklyn Bridge is another toll-free suspension bridge. This two-level bridge spanning the Lower East River and connecting Manhattan's Chinatown with Brooklyn's Dumbo has become a social media sensation as of late. However, many still don't know the name of this fancy blue bridge as it has always sat in the shadows of the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, its name is the Manhattan Bridge. And not only is it the most ornate out of all of New York's bridges, but it's got a triumphant grand entrance to match on the Manhattan side. Even more memorable is the way it uniquely frames a miniature Empire State Building that can be seen from afar through one of its portals. The Manhattan Bridge was completed in 1909 as a relief to the overcrowding on the Brooklyn and Williamsburg bridges and is the last of the four toll-free bridges that span the East River. It accommodates all kinds of traffic from pedestrians to bikers, vehicles, and multiple subway lines. Though a tad gritty, the walk across will get you panoramic views of New York's skyline, the harbor, and close-ups of the neighboring bridges. 
The best views of the Manhattan Bridge can be found while walking the Brooklyn Bridge, while enjoying Brooklyn Bridge Park, while driving on the FDR, and of course, at this famous site in Dumbo. And that's it for the 13 most amazing bridges in New York City. So, do you think I got all the good ones? Are there some other outstanding bridges that I left out? Perhaps I should do a part 2 to this video. You tell me if that sounds like a plan to you. Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this topic, feel free to respectfully share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos about New York City, our favorite city, one list at a time. With that said, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next time.